Um, what did you make of the performance as a whole? Yeah, no, it's not the result we wanted, obviously. I think first half we were very poor. I thought we didn't defend correctly. Uh, first goal is an example. You know, they have one player in the box. We have four. We concede early in the game, which is never a good sign. And then they get a second, a wonder finish. You know, could we do a little bit better with that? Yes, I think we could. Half time, then it's obviously a totally different game being two goals down. So we I challenged them to have a go, and they did. They certainly did. We got ourselves back into the game, and I think momentum is with us at that time. Uh, and then obviously the penalty incident changes the momentum back to them, and they kick on from that moment. What did you make of the penalty then, given you spent the chance? Do you know, I've watched, uh, you know, I was involved in this game. I've watched these three games this weekend that um, have had penalties in, and I'm not sure what a penalty is these days. Um, you know, it, it, I find it hard to fathom out because, you know, there's an argument that all three, they were all given, they were all reviewed, they were um, obviously made a difference in the game. I don't think any of them are penalties, but that's my opinion. And, you know, I've only been in football 25 years, so, you know, that's my opinion. But I could be wrong. I guess beyond that, um, you've, sort of, <laughs> you've, yeah. you've I guess, run through the, the goals, but where did you actually see it break down? Did you see it going wrong? So defensively, obviously, Andy Keogh had a great game. But where did you see it going wrong uh, tonight? Yeah, listen, if you, don't do your, if you don't get the small details correctly, and I talk about it every week uh, in your defending and obviously in your attacking, if you don't get them right, um, then you leave yourself open and vulnerable to concede goals, and we certainly did did that today. Obviously, the first two goals I mentioned, you know, one v four in the box, uh, a wonder goal, but we didn't win the first contact. The third goal is a penalty, and obviously the fourth and fifth. Then, when you're chasing the game, you're a little bit susceptible to sort of counter attacks, uh, and that's what happened. You know, the fourth goal was a ricochet of Magoli and landed a yard out. So sometimes that happens. It's not nice. It hurts. Um, but you have to accept it. But we'll get back to work. We know we need to sharpen up on our little details in defending and, and be a bit cleaner at the top end of the pitch as well because we had some very good chances and we only scored one goal. Carl, um, you had a couple of really big wins coming into this game. Yeah. Could you see that happening? I mean, it seems like you had such good momentum. A result like that seemed against the grain from you. How do you explain it in that sense? Yeah, no, I wish I knew. I could tell you. Um, we had a good week of training. The boys were sharp, were lively, and I know people will say the travel, but you have to deal with that. Uh, the warm-up was good, and we conceded after four minutes yeah, from their first attack. And from that moment, obviously, your back's against the wall a little bit. And then, you know, what can you do about a wonder goal? You know, you can't do too much about that. But the, the positive thing for me was at half time, and I did challenge them. I, I said, listen, 2 0s are, and we've been 2 0 up the last two games at half time. And, managed to get ourselves two victories. Uh, the next goal is important. I said, if we can get that next goal, then we can put them under a little bit of pressure. And we certainly did that. So that's a positive I'll take. Obviously, then from that moment when the third goal went in, then it's a little bit end to end, which is not great. Uh, and the scoreline reflects that. But, you know, was that a fair reflection of the game? I don't know. Um, but we need to be better all round. Such a tight finals race, of course. What does this game do in terms of, of your hopes? Does it put a dent in, in your... Um, your hopes of making the finals? Yeah, it certainly does. I don't think I can sit here and say that it doesn't affect it because we wanted to try and get three points here, never mind a point. Um, to get no points is disappointing, uh, but it's one game. We've got four big games, important games, like all the other teams. We've got four or five, um, and we've got to pick up as many points as we can, and it, and it will go down to the wire. Make no doubt about it. Whether we got, would have got this result or anything from this game today, it would certainly go down to the wire. So you have to sometimes brush yourselves off, brush yourselves down, and go again, and we certainly will next week because we've got a great game next weekend as well. Just a comment on Bruce Kamau, so eight goals for the season, six in his last serve, and another great goal tonight. I mean, when you looked at your strikers at the start of the season, did you envisage he would jump up in the manner that he has and, and be such a strong contributor for you? Uh, yes, I, I knew he could do it. Um, from you know my short time at, in Newcastle, I thought he was a, a player that had huge potential. And then when I got to work with him, I could see it on in, on a daily basis in training, do I think he would have got onto this run? Yeah, I think he, you know I challenged him to score ten goals for this season. Um, you know he didn't start the first number of games because he was he missed preseason. He was catching up with fitness, but he's in a real groove at the moment. Uh, he's playing with confidence. He's playing with enjoyment. He's playing with a smile. He scored a one the goal today, great goal. But he could have scored one or two more. He's probably more disappointed with the easier chances he missed. But that full credit to Bruce. He's in good form. 
off what Garvey said there, Carl, about the um, this this rough this well, it's big run home. I mean, how do you approach it? Do you throw down a gauntlet to your players? Like obviously Sydney FC is a big game. You beat them recently, but then the other three games are against other teams pushing for finals. Like, how do you look at it? This um, really. Yeah, big run. Like, what, what do you do? How do you embrace it? You've got to enjoy it. You've got to actually embrace it. You can't be scared of it. If you're scared of it, you shouldn't be in professional sports. I think it's what the, the neutral fan wants. I think he would like to see every team involved, barring one or two. Um, everyone's in the mix to try and get into the finals. You know, we're, we're no different to Brisbane or Western or Wellington or Adelaide. We're trying to get as many points as we can. Unfortunately, some teams are going to get there and some teams aren't. What we've got to do is try and win as many of those four games as we can to make sure we're one of the teams that does get there. Um, but we're no different to anyone else. And how's uh, Ziggy Gordon? He looked like he pulled up a bit sore after, I think it was maybe the last goal. Yeah, I'm not sure, to be honest. I haven't been in there yet, so um, I'm sure he'll be OK. He's a tough guy. I'm sure he'll shake it off. Any further questions, guys? Yeah, one more. Uh, this is from Carl. Um, big derby next week. Um, haven't lost to um, Sydney FC in the last six games. Is that a make or break game for your boys next week? Well, it's a big game because it's the, it's the next game. Uh, obviously, when you get a disappointing result or a disappointing loss, you have to rebound and react. So we'll have to do that again. Um, you know, each derby is different. We've had success in a few derbies recently, but. It's three points. You know, we know it's an important game for our supporters, our fans and our football club. Um, and it's a game that has a lot of meaning in it because it's three points and we're both trying to get into the finals. So um, I'm sure there's a little bit of extra spice and we want it to be. We want it to be tasty and spicy and have loads of supporters there uh, for both teams because that puts a bit of edge on the game. And when there's a bit of edge on games of football, then you're hoping that, you know, it's a good game of football at end to end. And, and obviously there's a few correct refereeing decisions as well. Is there any young kids from the NPL program um, looking at it coming in the next couple of weeks? The NPL team doing really well at the moment. Is there any young kids yeah. that we should look out for? Yeah, listen, there's a, there's a number of youngsters in our, in our NPL team that are doing very well. They were with me in pre season. I know all about them. You know, they do flip up and down into our training group when we when we are short in numbers one or two injuries some of them are on a regular basis others are not they're in and out so yeah certainly they're um they're the ones to look for for the future without a doubt if i can squeeze them in this year if i make some tough decisions then i certainly will i've got no doubt about that as you've seen early in the season with people like tommy aquilina and that i'm not afraid to do it if i think it's right and they're ready they have to be ready because if they're not ready then you're setting them up for failure um, but we certainly have some young, talented, exciting players in our MPL team.